I've had more struggle with self-harm lately than I've had in the last few years. My guides have told me that I would prefer to harm myself than feel my pain. Mm -hmm. I've recognised and felt a little bit of hating myself and wanting to harm myself. It came up one day when I, had, when I got a really bad headache. Mm -hmm. I've had feelings of being really angry about being responsible for things that have happened to me. I've spoken to God about how because I feel so responsible that I just don't want to be responsible for anything, not even myself. Mm. But I still can't feel why I hate myself so much and I don't understand why I would want to destroy myself. Mm. Well, first of all, I'd like to say to this lady uh, that, yes, your guides are correct. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm assuming, again, it's a lady. I'm not sure. I don't have um, the agenda yet. But, you, yeah, your guides are correct. You, you, are, you would rather harm yourself than feel the real feelings that are going on within you. And if you look at more sincerely at what the guides have actually said, um, even though I don't think I don't think it's actually included here, but I've, the feeling I have from the guides is that she's act, they've actually said more to her than that. Yeah. She they said to her that you'd rather harm yourself than feel your own pain. However, they also were trying to say to her why she would rather harm herself than feel her own, own pain. pain. Yeah. Which is all about how she, she has been sort of abused in her childhood and in her life. Yeah. It's all about the fact that she would prefer, she's been taught to prefer to harm herself than, than to feel the harm that was perpetrated by her parents towards her. Yeah. And she was taught emotionally by her parents to do that. She was taught to accept the blame for everything that happened to her. And in fact, the rest of her question demonstrates that, yes. that she has been taught that and that she thinks she now has to accept the blame for everything. Yeah. You don't have to accept the blame for everything. You only need to accept the blame for things that you actually did that were your fault. And when you are a child, very little of what you actually did was your fault, mm -hmm. even though your parents suggested or, or blamed you or emotionally told you or physically through punishment told you that it was your fault. So what she would rather do is she'd rather punish herself because that's what she was taught to do yeah. by her parents. She'd rather punish herself than feel that her parents are to blame and to feel that her parents are the fault, and to feel what her parents actually did, which is the true extent of her pain. Mm -hmm. So she'd rather punish herself than feel her real pain. Now, this will go on forever. It can go on for a long period of time yeah. until you stop doing it to yourself. Yeah. You need to come to terms with the fact that you did not create this childhood pain, no matter what you did. Yeah. You did not create this childhood pain. A child, by nature, automatically experiences all of its emotions without needing assistance. If the child has emotions suppressed, which is what the parents generally do with the child, then the child accumulates pain. So all of the accumulated pain inside of you is not the result of your own fault. It's not all your own choices. Mm -hmm. It's the result of, or the fault of, the choices of your parents. Yeah. And unless you face that fact, you will never get out of this cycle of blaming yourself. So this is where most of her effort needs to be directed. Yeah. She needs to direct the effort towards dealing with the feelings associated with how she was attacked and suppressed by her parents, yeah. rather than blaming herself for everything that goes wrong in her life. Yeah. Now, of course, she now is in rebellion about even taking any responsibility. For anything. For anything. Yeah. And usually people who have been treated like this during their childhood want to actually avoid any responsibility now for any decision. Mm -hmm. They want to avoid any responsibility for self-care. They want to avoid any responsibility for determining what they do with the rest of their life. They want the government or somebody else to look after them. Yeah. They, they refuse to do any work to look after themselves. And that's all the rebellious emotion, the anger-based emotion, yeah. avoiding the fear associated with the childhood experience of grief. Mm -hmm. So this is the problem that she faces. And to be frank, a lot of people face exactly the same problem. Yeah. A lot of people face this problem where they either revert to self-punishment or they blame the world rather than feeling their own pain yeah. about what happened in their childhood experience. 
and there is a direct ref- relationship to their refusal mm-hmm. to acknowledge the truth of their own childhood. Yeah. So I would suggest that if she's finding it difficult to acknowledge the truth of her own childhood, that she maybe goes along and finds a psychologist or a psychiatrist of some kind inst- who not, doesn't put her on a drug but mm-hmm. rather helps her go through the emotional process of finding the truth about her own childhood yeah. as to why she feels so you know, self-blaming and self-punishing now. Yes. And that would be very, very helpful for this person to do that. Yeah. And the last part of her question, she says, I I can't feel why I hate myself so much and I don't understand why I would want to destroy myself. Mm. Really what you're saying there is that 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 desire, that urge um, feels so strong in her because it's, in place of her feeling what happened in her childhood. So she's... It's not only that. She has a high amount of fear associated with feeling what happened to her in her childhood because of what her parents did whenever she felt in her childhood. Yeah. So her parents always blamed her for whatever they created in her. Yeah. And so as a result, she has learned the only way to get the approval of her parents is to continue to blame herself. Mm -hmm. And so she does that automatically. Of course, it's a spiral that goes out of control eventually and usually causes even suicide. And, and it is an angry spiral, really. It's an anger towards, directed towards oneself, yeah. which is a repeating of the anger that the parents directed towards you. Yeah. If you allow yourself to feel the level of anger and rage that your parents directed at you, you will find that they were the causes of this suppression mm-hmm. and also the causes of this learned behaviour. Once you go through those emotions, you will not want to harm yourself, but rather you'll probably feel like harming your parents, which is progress in a direction, (laughs) not the solution. No. (laughs) But it is progress in the sense that you are at least now assigning responsibility of this harm to the people who created it. Yeah. Right? You need to also progress beyond that point and go through the emotions involved, the painful emotions involved of their creation and get to forgive them, that's when you will be completely free mm-hmm. of the actual things that they did. Mm-hmm. But, but while you blame yourself, you're avoiding that entire process. Yeah. So psychologically, while you blame yourself, you, you, get, you, you let yourself off the hook of blaming the person who actually created the problem. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, you then get into this place where you become exhausted blaming yourself and then you feel like just you know, exiting life. Yeah. And honestly, every person who exits life and arrives in the spirit world with these emotions feels exactly the same emotions even in the spirit world. So the whole de- the suicidal death is pointless. Yeah. Instead, you would be far better off allowing yourself to go through the process of actually feeling the pain associated with the childhood experience. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're finding it difficult to connect with the pain associated with your childhood experience and identify the pain associated with your childhood experience, then my suggestion is to get some professional help to help you identify and see the pain of your childhood experience. And even if that professional help doesn't help you go through it emotionally, you at least can identify it and then go through the emotions yourself. Yeah, Mm. yeah.